poster presenters just come up, give their name, like a two sentence summary of what their title, like what they're doing is, and where and which room their poster is in. So, you know, is it across the way or down the hall. And we'll keep it fast, everyone's hungry, so we'll Hello, I'm, I'm Yu Wei from Numenta, and our poster is about the theory of sequence memory in the cortex. And our founder, Jeff Hawkins, will talk about the theory on a high level, and if you want to know the details, come to our poster. We compare uh, HTM with many other machine learning algorithms on both real world and artificial data set and demonstrate its properties there. Thank you. Hi, my name is Samat Moldakarimov, and I am from University of California in San Diego. Uh, the conventional theories of neural encoding based on spike frequency or spike timing. But these theories cannot explain data from uh, uh, rodent barrel cortex, where uh, neural responses are very sparse and noisy, random. And we developed a new theory, it's uh, called Population coding theory based on traveling waves. And please come to my poster if you want to hear more details. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Luz Weilang from University of Heidelberg. Uh, corresponding to previous talk by Mihai, we have a poster about our recent work uh, on the comparison of spiking neural network with conventional uh, machine learning models, specifically RBMs. So uh, our results shows that for classification result, um, the, our network based on LF neurons can perform equally well as the conventional RBMs. However, for generation tasks, our network can significantly outperform the conventional machine learning models due to this short-term plasticity implemented on the synapse. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the poster is uh, just in the room opposite to this room. Thanks. Hello, uh, my name is Evgeny Osipov. I am from Lulu University of Technology in northern Sweden. And uh, I'm pitching my poster entitled New Horizons of Vector Symbolic Architectures, uh, which um, uh, displays novel applications of uh, hyperdimensional computing introduced by Pente Canerva earlier today. So if you are interested in how to apply vector symbolic architectures to encode sensory inputs, or how to use it for distributed fault detections, which we applied in a uh, nuclear power plant, for example, or how to uh, do uh, longest uh, string match um, using vector symbolic architectures, or even solving Cambridge test, um, or how to model, uh, how to functionally model cognitive abilities of um, honeybees. So then you are welcome to attend my poster uh, here in the room opposite to this one. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'm uh, Chris Carlson. I'm at uh, Sandia National Labs. And uh, so my poster is about uh, how do you figure out if you're working with large-scale systems, like uh, large-scale brain simulations or uh, neuromorphic systems, oftentimes these have many variables, like sometimes hundreds or even thousands. And uh, you want to find out which of these variables actually matters, because <laughs> uh, some of them probably don't. Uh, so I, what I'm trying to do is something called uncertainty, uncertainty quantification and sensitivity analysis on these systems. So uh, the idea is you can figure out, one, uh, what the uncertainty is in, in your outputs and quantify that, but also, two, uh, what, these, uh, what, what input variables or what parameters are actually causing the variation in the system. So uh, if you want to know more about that, my poster is in the back room. Hi, I'm Samantha Petty. I'm a graduate student at Georgia Tech. And my poster gives uh, the construction of a threshold function for an arbitrary threshold um, in a neurally plausible way using only the and and or Boolean functions as primitives. And my poster is in the back room. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Catherine Conan. I'm a graduate student at Washington University in St. Louis, and my po poster is some experimental data uh, looking at adaptation in value encoding neurons in macaque monkeys on the time scale of minutes or so, and I'm in the back room. Hi, my name is Will Shannon. I'm a researcher at the New Mexico Consortium, and me and my collaborator, Dylan Payton, uh, actually explore sampling a, a sparse coding network that, that optimizes a non-convex uh, energy function. And uh, we, so we use these samples to, we, we, we evaluate how each of these samples support classification performance and, and sort of look at how averaging them uh, varies uh, across the landscape and things like that. So our poster is in the back room. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Tom Jackson. I'm a uh, graduate student at Carnegie Mellon University. And our group uh, for the past couple years have been has been looking at how to use uh, resistive crossbar memories efficiently in hardware, uh, and specifically how you build the hardware interfaces in a way that's reasonable. Uh, and the most recent things we've been looking at is actually building uh, recurrent neural networks with phase as the state variable by using uh, linked PLLs through a resistive crossbar network. So uh, if you want to come take a look at my poster, it's in the back room. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alice Parker from University of Southern California. I brought a couple posters with me from my graduate students. Rebecca Lee has a poster on uh, separated carbon nanotube synapse that she constructed in the nano lab, in Ch Chang Wu Zhou's nano lab. A second poster is from Jilda Irizarry Valley. She's graduating, heading to Northrop Grumman, and she is working on astrocytes, and so it's neuromorphic astrocyte electronic circuits. Thank you. <laughs> 